Hey guys, it's Nick, and today we have a headset that you've probably seen many streamers, YouTubers, and even musicians use. These are the Biodynamic DT990 Pros. They're studio grade open back headsets, and I've had my eye on this for a while. Since they're open back headphones, these were specifically made for music production. And they didn't really have gaming in mind, but they give off a really great experience while you game. With the open back, you get a more broad and spatial sound in general. Everything in game, whether that be a gunshot or any movement to the left or to the right, will definitely be distinct and heard in that direction. This means that for gaming, it ends up being a good thing that they were made open back, especially for FPS games like Valorant. This also influences on how comfortable they are. You don't really get that pressure built up when you're using gaming headsets for a long time. That being said, you will need to break in this headset. It's very sturdy material. And since it's so sturdy, you'll feel like the pressure in your head is a bit overwhelming. At least that happened to me. After a while, it did cease to be an issue. These ear pads are the most comfortable you will ever feel. And just for these alone, I think it's incredibly worth. You get this gray soft texture that feels amazing to the touch. It pads great on your head and it won't give you the headphone sweat after using them for hours. The build quality is very impressive while being very sturdy, very well made, very German. It's very lightweight. You practically don't feel them on, which is always a plus. The sound quality is also something of note. Every single detail will be noticed. Every single imperfection in audio will be there, giving off a crisp and amazing experience with some forms of audio and a very negative experience with poorly produced sounds. There's great bass and treble balancing, which means that the bass isn't really overwhelming. There's a great tone between the bass and the treble. With the open back feature, sound will be escaping from this headset. This means that while you're busy gaming or listening to music, anyone around you at a distance at around one meter will hear what's going on. They're pretty loud and they sound like speakers at a distance. It comes with a 3.5 millimeter jack adapter and your quarter inch jack, so you can use your headset on various inputs. Also, in the box, you get a drawstring bag and the manual. Unfortunately, these are wired headsets, and while that might be great for latency, this worries me a bit because if you break this cable, you're pretty much screwed. It's not replaceable. Many headphones, like the Audio Technicas, have added the removable cable feature, which in my opinion is something that I'd consider a fault in this headset. The coiled cable is very nice, it feels premium, but it does feel pretty heavy. It tends to get stuck either along my arms or throughout my desk, and I've been looking on different ways to cope with this, either beneath the desk or just laying on my mic. Most people do prefer this over the straight one, so it's just personal preference. Now the most important thing about the Biodynamic DT990 Pro is, will you be able to run them? Being 250 ohm headphones, these are extremely power hungry. You can't just simply plug them into your PC input, whether that be the front or the motherboard I.O. They require an external power source to run them, or they will sound extremely low or barely at all. You will need a separate amp for these, but I found that if you have something like the Scarlett Solo or the Head M4, it will be more than enough and it will give you decent audio levels. Moreover, I've been using this head amp with my other budget headset and I can completely recommend it. Personally though, I think the sound from my AI is much crisper and sounds a lot better than the head amp. Other amps like the Go XLR, which other streamers might have, is more than enough to drive these. However, they are quite pricey, so if you're looking into this headset, find something more that is within your budget. But keep in mind that you might spend $80 to $150 on the amp. Finally, do I think these are worth after using them for a while? Yes, definitely. The audio quality far exceeded my expectations. How comfortable they are and the general aesthetics, I'd say go above and beyond the hype train. And I do think that that's indicative on why so many users go and get these. For $150, these are my favorite headsets. So if you're in the market for one and you have the hardware or you're willing to invest in it, I would 100% recommend getting these, even if it's just for the fluffy ear pads. If you have any questions or if you want to add to anything I've just said, feel free to leave a comment down below. So if this has helped you and you want to check all my other content, a sub and a like is always appreciated. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.